What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Manuel Espinosa and today I will make the review for the pistol Stoger STR9 full size. As you can see I have the pistol over here. It's not loaded. And couple things that I want to tell you about this pistol that call my attention is the fact that this pistol is made in Turkey and the Stoger is importing this pistol to USA. And the another thing is the fact that a lot of people is saying this is a clone from the Glock 17 because the design and how, and how similar the pistol is to the Glock 17. Hopefully, uh, it's working really good as well, right? But today I will find out <laughs> if this is a good or a bad pistol. I will try to do the best review that I can and at the end of the video I will tell you the thing that I like and the thing that I don't like. Okay, well guys, at this point I am ready, stay with me, and let's see how this pistol works. Okay guys, the first thing that I will show you about this pistol is how is working the mechanism, how is working the pistol. Over here, we have the magazine release, sliding release, and trigger. This pistol is not coming with dumb safety. The only safety coming with this pistol is the trigger safety. Besides that, there is nothing else, okay? At this point, I have ammo in the magazine. I only had to slide the rack if I wanna shoot. I will shoot a couple rounds. Okay, you can see how simple the pistol is working. And also, there is another thing that I want to show you. When you remove the magazine, you have to be really careful because the pistol will shoot without magazine in. Okay, look at this. You can see the magazine is right here. You saw how the pistol will shoot without magazine in. So be careful every time when you are removing the magazine, make sure you are removing the round in the chamber.
Well guys, this is almost the end of the video. I don't want to continue before say thank you for watching this video. I really, I do appreciate the time that you are taking to watch the whole demonstration. Now coming back to the pistol, I will make sure it's empty. It is. I will tell you first the thing that I like it, and at the end what I don't like about this pistol. The first thing that I like was the grip. This design with the finger group and the back strap was perfect for me. It's giving to me really good grip and I was feeling really comfortable when I was shooting. Another thing that I like is the mechanism. Really simple and easy to manipulate. Now I can understand why the people always is saying this is a clone from the Glock 17. Another good thing about this pistol is the iron sight system. It's coming with the white dot, making it really easy to aim the target. And actually this pistol is really accurate as well. Another good thing is the design on the sliding. It's coming with serration on the front and the back, making it really easier to pull back the sliding, especially when you are using gloves. And finally, the price. I can tell you this pistol is right now in the market, you can get one of these one but for maybe 320 or 340 US dollar. If you think about it and you think in the price of another brands, let's talk about the Glock. The Glock maybe 17 or 19 Gen 5 is double price basically. That those pistols are about 600, 650 dollars, something like that. And this one is basically half of that price. So for me, it's a great deal because when you are thinking about what you are paying and what you are receiving in return, this thing is having everything. It's reliable, the functionality is great. I didn't get any jump during the demonstration. And I can tell you, I was shooting during the video about 150 rounds and the pistol was working just fine. Now, the thing that I don't like, well, I can tell you, I don't have nothing negative to say about this pistol. It's, it's amazing, I can tell you. And also another thing that I didn't say is about the auction that, that you have over here. You can install an optic. And actually this pistol is coming with the extra plates to install any optic that you want. Okay, that is another good thing. So yeah, for me it's great. Maybe for somebody who is uh, having a small hand, a small size of hand, this one maybe could, could be too big, okay? However, the STR9 is coming in different size. If this one is not the right one for you because it's too big, probably you can get the subcompact, the micro compact, and maybe I will say probably one of them will be the best one for you, the right one for you. But in general, in overall, this pistol is great. Well guys, this is all that I got in this video. Stay safe and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.